Hey there guys, in today's video for the Ultimate Parrot Play Gym series, we are going to be talking about how to add even more perches onto your Play Gym. Uh, so there's a couple of different ways that you can put them. You can make perches coming off of your supports. You can have perches coming off of your existing perches. There's a lot of fun things that you can do. So if adding perches to your Play Gym is something you want to see, uh, we're going to be covering that in this video. So you want to go ahead and stick around because that's going to be coming up right after this. Hey there guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird, where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. Uh, and in today's video, we are going to be continuing our series on the Ultimate Parrot Play Gym by adding in some extra perches. Now, you want to remember uh, that you want to make sure to do this so that it is safe for your bird, so that needs to be one of your considerations as you are adding perches. Uh, to this, but uh, you can pretty much add a lot of different things to make this really, really interesting to your bird. One thing I recommend as you add perches, and I'll showcase this as we move on, you want to make sure to check that it is safe before you let your bird onto it. Remember, we built this base structure to be very, very sturdy. As we go to add things, if you have a perch that comes out to here and the bird stands there, you can cause the entire thing to tip over. Uh, that's not something we want to happen. So you're going to want to check those before you move into adding different perches. Now there's a couple of things that we're going to need in order to add perches to our PVC. The first thing we are going to need is some even more T connectors. Now again, you want your fittings to correlate to the PVC that you are using for your play stand. I am using three quarter inch PVC pipe, so I am going to use corresponding three quarter inch PVC fittings. For the purposes of this play gym, we are using slip or solvent fittings. That means they are not threaded. You are just going to push this together for the pipe to fit into each of these fittings. You don't have to worry about lining things up and threading them. Uh, and that also means these fittings hold this pipe pretty well if you just press into it. So while there's a variety of different ways that you could ultimately secure this and glue this together, Realistically, a lot of people will just take a rubber mallet, they will beat into this PVC pipe, go into each of the places where it joins, and it'll be next to impossible for your bird to take apart. Because realistically, there are times if I do that, it's next to impossible for me to take apart. And I will have multiple pairs of pliers, uh, a clamp, and I still sometimes have to just get rid of pieces or put them to the side to use for a specific instance where I need a particular <laughs> fitting and a particular length of PVC pipe that is just stuck in the fitting. Um, you want to remember that you don't want to throw away any of either your pipe or your PVC fittings because it's all going to be useful. And in this instance, you're going to see what we can do with a lot of the shorter pieces of PVC pipe. So we're going to need some three quarter inch PVC uh, T connectors or T fittings. It's gonna depend how many perches you want to add. You're going to need your PVC cutters. I definitely recommend the ratcheting PVC cutters. If you're only building one parrot play gym, you can get away with something like a hacksaw, but honestly the PVC uh, cutters are a game changer when it comes to building anything like this. You want to have some kind of marking utensil. Uh, and you might need a couple of other teaser fittings, and we're going to discuss that as we move in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to decide where you want to add your uh, extra perches. So on this taller perch, I have decided I want to add one that comes right here. Now we want to remember that just like when we do the increases or the decreases on the PVC pipe, we want to make sure that we're doing it evenly. Luckily in the last video, uh, you can actually see that right up there if you want, we did increases and decreases on the PVC pipe. We have two uh, couplings 
that are in roughly the same place. So if I go ahead, disconnect this, and take off that coupling, this is effectively the equivalent of if I just decided to do two cuttings, two couplings in the same place, or to cut the pipe in the exact same place to add perches. So the construction of our perch is very, very simple. You are going to want a T fitting. Uh, it's basically going to go up and down, and you'll have one that goes to a side. Put the perch in where it goes to the side, and then add a slip cap. And you can go ahead and add that. Uh, so all we're going to do is we're going to do that and add that in. Now remember, since we want this to be even, the easiest thing to do would be to just take another uh, perch built the exact same way, T-fitting perch, uh, section of PVC pipe, and a cap, and just add that there. Now we can go ahead, take our PVC perch, the main one that we have, and add that. And as you can see, we have added a lot more interest on this perch, because we have this main perch here, but we have a smaller one here, we have a smaller one here, and this one right here. If you wanted the perch to be able to help your bird get down to this space, you can pivot it so that it comes out like that. You can pivot to this one so that it comes out further. Now again, you just want to check to make sure if your bird is pressing its weight here, is that going to cause the entire PVC stand to flip over? Uh, this one seems pretty sturdy. Now that's great, but sometimes you may just want to do one perch. You may decide you don't want this one here. You only want to add this one in between the two. And there's a couple of things you can do for that. Uh, the first one, like we used before, we can just use a coupling to join that PVC pipe. Uh, a coupling right there would work, but I do want to point out that a coupling and a T-fitting are not the exact same size. The T-fitting is a little bit bigger. Now, part of this will determine how hard you press into it. So realistically, if you do one T-fitting and one coupling, you can get that to join, and it's just not going to be in that coupling as far as it is in the T-fitting, uh, but you can actually get that to be reasonably flush. Uh, but again, this coupling will be a weak point. But if you're only doing one perch like this, that's a really easy way to accommodate that. Now, if you wanted to do two or three perches like this on one side and not have that coupling on the other, um, or rather, if you're trying to do that coupling on the other, you're going to have an issue because you're going to be outside the realm of what those couplings can accommodate. Because it may be a quarter of an inch smaller, but as you get to three T's, you're at three quarters of an inch. So the question is, how do you accommodate that? And realistically, uh, you sort of do what we did before, which is you add two perches, just you make sure the perch length isn't that much. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a T connector. We're going to just go ahead and include that right in there. We are going to use this piece of PVC. It is less than two inches long. So again, remember, never throw away your pieces of PVC because even the very small pieces are useful. Now basically all we're doing with that is we're giving enough of a PVC piece so that we can fit it into that T connector and add a cap. So there we have a tiny little piece. Uh, so it isn't going to really function as a perch, uh, but it is going to ensure that this all stays very, very stable. Now there are a lot of things we can do with our PVC cap. So we can add things like eyelets to then attach other perches, other toys, uh, food and water bowls. So having things like that can be very, very useful. So again, you just want to make sure that you're increasing uh, or adding perches in the same way that you change out the length of your PVC pipe. The exact amount you're doing isn't important. You just want to make sure that it is relative and it all correlates. So on our risers, we have one perch that we have added, and we have just one spacer. We have basically used a T-connector 
as a coupling. Uh, we wanted to make sure we had the exact same length to match this T connector, and we just added a small piece of PVC pipe and a cap to just close it off. Because if we didn't close that off, what could happen? If you feed your bird on your PVC stand, you can get little bits of food that will fall into that opening. You don't want that to happen. Uh, if your bird is like any other living bird I have met, they're going to go to the bathroom. They could potentially go to the bathroom in that hole. You don't want that to happen. And of course, if you are building this for a smaller bird, if you are building a three-quarter inch PVC stand for something like a budgie or a cockatiel, uh, they could even potentially get something like their head stuck in that opening of that T-connector. And you don't want that to happen. But by adding perches evenly, uh, you can actually build something really, really nice. And just remember, you control the length of the perches. So if you decide this one wanted to be a little bit longer, you could obviously switch it out for a larger piece of PVC pipe. If you watch the video we just did on increasing and decreasing PVC pipe, you could obviously extend it that way as well. So there are a lot of ways that you can customize this at a lot of interesting things for your bird uh, in order to make their pla parrot play gym uh, particularly useful for them. So I do want to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are following the Ultimate Parrot Play Gym series, you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on any of the episodes as we cover any of the things that we're doing to customize our Parrot Play Gyms. So I do want to thank you guys again for watching this video, uh, and I hope to see you guys next time. All right, thanks. Bye.